guys, it's Carla. Today I'm going to paint this back road scene with sun rays uh, shining through the trees. I'm using acrylic paint. This is white, yellow, yellow ochre, orange, light purple, um, cobalt blue, dark green, red ochre, and black. And for my brushes, I may or may not use all of these, but I've got two synthetic angle brushes, two different sizes, two different size um, Deerfoot stiplers, and just a uh, flat hog bristle brush. Now I'm going to start by just lightly sketching out my um, road so that I don't lose track of where it's going to be. So I'm going to start about almost almost in the middle this way, but it's a little to the left and it's about two thirds of the way down. So that is going to be the top of my road. And then it's going to kind of come off this way and off this way like off the side of the canvas. So that will be my road and I'll try to make it kind of level right there. Um, and then I can just put the trees and paint in around it. Now for my trees, I'm going to start with my um, background trees. And the thing to remember with the background trees is they're not going to be as distinct as the front ones and they're going to be a different shade maybe even a different color like in this case because uh, the light is shining down this way and it's highlighting all those trees back there so they're a different color than these these up here in the front so i'm gonna with my smaller deerfoot stippler i'm gonna pick up some of that yellow ochre some red ochre Be a little touch of blue. Okay, so I want my trees to come out over the road back here. And I'm just tapping these on with this stippler. And remember the the foreground trees are going to be a lot more distinct, but with these back here, we just want to use this stippler just to kind of put in some textured color. Okay, now I'm going to switch to my larger stippler um, to kind of fill, fill this in. Still tapping. Now I started with a painted canvas, uh, just a really light gray. So if all of this doesn't get covered, then it's okay. It's still not gonna be raw canvas. Okay, so there's my most distant trees. Now I'm gonna work on the kind of the middle trees. Still not working on the, the front ones yet. So with my smaller stippler, and also if you don't have a deerfoot stippler, you can 
do the whole thing with this um, flat hog bristle brush. So I'm just mixing up um, kind of a medium green shade. And I don't want to cover up all of these um, distant trees. I just want to kind of come out over them in places. I'm still not getting detailed with my uh, greenery, but I am kind of focusing on the shape a little bit. It's just that I'm still just pouncing on the leaves instead of like painting the leaves in. And I'm using my smaller stippler just for these edges and then I'll move on to my larger one. Now there's going to be more of this um, these background trees showing over here because God's light is shining in this direction. So it's highlighting all of this right here. to my larger stippler. And basically with this, I'm going to go ahead and uh, fill in most of this up here where the trees are. And then I'll come back over them with the, the foreground trees. But I just want to get most of this covered. Now there is little specks of light showing up there. And if if you end up accidentally covering those up, then you can always paint them back in. I just want to get some texture going back here. Okay, and now with my angle brush, I'm going to go ahead and put in some of that um, sunlight back there. So I'm going to use yellow and a touch of yellow ochre. And some white. Okay, so I'm going to I'm not gonna go, I'm, I'm not gonna cover my trees, but I am gonna slightly go over the edge of them just to create that glow. The ones that are really hanging out here over the road, I want to want to make it look like a, the sun is almost burning through them.
I meant to tell you, I dried this um, before I did this yellow step. Sorry about that. Okay, now I'm going to pick up some white while that's still wet and really brighten it up right in here. You want to do it while it's still wet so that it'll blend into it and not be too white. Now, I want to get my road in and my kind of dirt beside the road and all that, leaves and stuff, uh, before I put my foreground trees in. So for the road, I'm going to use my angle brush and um, just, I just want a base color so that I can work on top of it. So I picked up some of that light purple and a little bit of yellow just to kind of tone it down. And then some white. Okay, and notice that I avoided any hard lines right here on the edges because I don't want to have to deal with that later, trying to cover it up. So now I'm going to work on this brown. I'm going to pick up some of that red ochre. A little touch of yellow ochre. A little touch of black. Be careful with that black. So I just want a base color right here for my leaves, for my dead leaves. have some coming up in here where you're seeing part of the ground
Now over here, there's not as much of it. So it's just kind of a transition between the greenery and the road. Remember, as things get farther away, they get smaller, so this little border is going to get thinner. And now I'm going back to my angle brush and I'm going to pick up some purple, a little bit of blue, some yellow to dull it down. Just want a darker um, purple so that I can put some darker areas in the road. So I'm just very lightly, and I'm keeping my brush strokes going in the direction of the road, but I'm keeping them short because you're kind of seeing the. Um, you're seeing it at a different angle. Now with that dirty brush, I'm going to pick up some white, kind of put some lighter shades in. Now I rinsed my brush and back here where the road meets the sky, it looks like there's some, I'm going to use just yellow ochre. Looks like the, the sun is highlighting the road right here. Now at this point, I want this still a little brighter, and now that it's dry, uh, I can't use just white. So I need to add a little bit of yellow to it. Dirty it up a little bit. So I'm just gonna come right against the road This just right here should be the brightest spot in the sky, so we want it to really glow.
Okay, now we're gonna put our sun rays in. And before you do, make sure that this is very dry. I'm gonna use my flat hog bristle brush. Pick up some of that yellow ochre. A little touch of orange. Okay, now I've got my brush loaded, but I'm gonna wipe it on my towel so that I can dry brush this. Okay, so I want my light coming from up here. I'm very lightly brushing this on. Don't get too impatient with it because you need it to I'm gonna add a little touch of white to it. Um, you need this to be very soft, so don't get too impatient. up a little bit now some of these sun rays are only going to come to they're only going to reach those uh, middle trees some of them will c come out over our um, dark trees so we're gonna have to put those in after we put the dark trees in. to lighten this one up. And like I said, um, this is only part of the race, so we're going to be putting more in after we get our darker trees in. Now I'm going to pick up some orange, add a little touch of water to it. And you, you can keep working with these until you get the shade you want or the the brightness that you want and I'm using I'm not using the edge of my brush because that's going to be a hard line I'm kind of using the side of my brush like that so almost the full side of my brush Okay, and now I want some uh, highlights on the road where the sun is peeking through the trees. So I'm gonna use my small angle brush. Pick up some of 
pick up some white and yellow and orange. Seems to be a good shade. Okay, so I'm put a little right here. I'm keeping these strokes going kind of in the direction of the sun rays okay now with my deer foot stippler I'm gonna put some darker and lighter shades in the dirt. So with my red ochre and black, I'm gonna create a darker color than what's on there. And I'm not putting this everywhere, I just want to get some texture and contrast down there. As it gets closer this way, it's not going to be, there's not going to be as much dark because the light will be getting to it and it's farther away. And now I rinsed my brush, and for a little lighter color, I'm gonna mix some red ochre, and some of that purple. So mostly back here, but there's going to be some up closer too. kind of reshape my road back here. Now I'm going to add some white to that red ochre and purple shade. And just very lightly, I want to tap in some highlights and texture.
now we're going to put in some of our darker um, objects like the tree trunks. Um, I'm going to put a little stump over here or a log or something. Um, anyway, so I'm going to use my synthetic angle brush and mix up a dark, like a red ochre and black, that dark mixture. this fairly dark okay so I'm going to start with my big tree right here it kind of leans leans in and it disappears down into the Uh, bushes. And maybe a little one back here. And it disappears up there. Maybe, maybe you can see some more of it up here. Uh, I'm gonna have a big one over here. Maybe one back here that you can see kind of parts of, but not all of it. And I'm going to add a little bit of white now just to kind of lighten it up and put in my more di distant trees. I want it to be obvious that they're in the distance, so they need to be lighter. Okay, now I rinsed my angle brush and I'm going to start working on my leaves. So I'm going to start with the darker leaves. So I'm adding a little bit of red ochre and a little black to my green. And if you have um, a small synthetic angle brush, this is like um, maybe a quarter inch, eighth inch, I don't know. It's very small, but it's just a synthetic angle brush. You can use you can create some really realistic looking leaves by just tapping and turning your brush as you go, turning your wrist.
when you get over to the tree, you're going to come out over it. Don't avoid that because you wouldn't be able to see the whole tree trunk. Just tap in as many leaves as you want. Just make sure that you leave some of your trunk showing. Don't get too carried away with the leaves. Okay, now I've got plenty of my um, darker green leaves in but I want some of those to be really dark so I'm gonna pick up some more of that color and add more black to it this time So like a um, forest green, dark forest green. Okay, and now I'm gonna just uh, very selectively tap this in. And you're still using the, the leaf shape, so like twist your wrist every now and then and make it look kind of organic. See these leaves right here that have the light behind them are gonna look darker because of the light. Because it's not shining on them, it's, it's just behind them. So it's, it's kind of like they're silhouetted. Now I have only put the really dark on this side, so notice the difference. This side looks really flat. This one has more depth. Now I'm also um, putting some of that dark right here in these little bushes beside the road. But as I get farther back there, I'm not going to do that because the light is shining this way. Okay, now I want a highlight color. Let's see what that gives us, just adding white to that. Maybe a little blue in it.
Yeah, that's pretty. Okay, and again, selectively, I want to come in and tap this in, mostly on the tops of a section of leaf. I don't want to highlight these that have the light directly behind them because they need to stay dark. If you'll notice, I'm holding the brush way back here at the tip because that gives me like a looser look and that's what I want right now. Okay, so that's the, um, with these blue highlights on this side versus that side, um, again, it gives you more depth. Okay, so now I've got those highlights in. And I want to go a little bit lighter, but I also noticed that I forgot to put a little log over here. So I'm going to do that after I highlight, finish highlighting the leaves. So now I'm going very light with that blue shade. And very selectively tapping that in. Okay, now I'm going to use this, I rinsed my brush, I'm going to use this mixture, it's white, yellow, and orange that we used on the road here. And I'm going to tap in where this light is shining through here, it's really hitting some of these leaves. So I want to emphasize that.
and even this tree is catching a little bit of it um, just on this right hand side I don't want it to be real obvious but Just here and there between between leaves it's catching some of that highlight this one is not because the light is shining this way Okay, I rinsed my brush and I'm going to go ahead and put in my log. This is a very dark shade. So let's see, about right here. Putting in the shaded side. And there's different shape logs, so just just come up with your own shape. Okay, and then I'm gonna add a little purple to that and some white, maybe some blue. And highlight the top of the log, that's too dark. I'm gonna highlight this a little bit more. Some white and blue. And I think I want some uh, leaves in front of it and kind of up over it a little bit.
getting lazy here with my highlights, but Mm, maybe a little more depth in it. Okay, now we need um, dirt and leaves on the road. So I'm going to use my large hog bristle. I mean, different stippler. And I'm going to go with that, that red ochre. A little bit of green. Maybe something like that. And the more roughed up your brush is, the better this will work. If it's not roughed up, you can kind of kind of uh, tap it and twist it and rough it up. And then just very lightly, if you press down too hard, you're going to get this... Um, circle shape and we don't want that so you're just going to lightly tap in these specks okay now I might come back after a while and um, touch up some things you know make some Dark's darker and light's lighter, but um, at this point, the only real step left is to put in these other sun rays. So I'm using my flat hog bristle brush. Find a clean spot somewhere. And I'm gonna use white, I mean, yeah, white, yellow, and orange. My dirty brush, scoop up some white, find another spot. And again, I want to wipe it on my brush. I mean, on my towel. Okay, so some of these rays only reach to those trees back there, but some of them come on out and come out over this. So Again, I'm using the side of my brush and just kind of dry brushing. I always want to make sure that I keep the right angle going like that. It's all coming from up here. If you have any hard edges, use your 
brush to scrub them out. Guys, I hope y'all are sharing these videos on social media. I'm really trying to grow my channel, but it's not so easy. Sometimes you can pick up color from your paper towel. And again, like I said, uh, I might come back later and, you know, do some little touch-ups, but this gives you a general idea of how to paint this. Okay guys, that's it. I hope you like this one and hope you try it. And if you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. Um, share it on social media. Subscribe if you haven't done that. And check out my other videos. And until next time, thanks for watching. Bye guys.